飛べ、ファイアイアイ、ファイアイアイ、汗と血と涙で光る翼で、今全部全部喫茶って飛べ、ファイアイアイ、高くファイアイアイ、最果ての未来へ。What's good, players? Back again with another first time vlog. This time I'm gonna let you take a guess what it is. Quick hint it's something that I really, really enjoy doing. It's a favorite hobby of mine. You can probably see it in my room right now, somewhere behind me. Alright, I'm not gonna be playing around anymore. We actually won first place. In a volleyball league. Volvo BZ. Want a t shirt? There it is. So proud of it. <laughs> Super happy about it. This is just gonna be a short little vlog. I guess I could probably tell you guys how it happened. We technically lost the first game of the playoffs. One of the girls, I think she might have rolled her ankle during the first set. And she was out. And they ended up with no other girls in the game. So they only had one girl, four other guys, so five players in total. We lost both sets, even with just one girl on their team. And, but they、uh, had to forfeit the game anyway, because they're missing one girl on their team. So we won that first game. Second game, lost. Both sets. Yeah, we were kind of pretty sad about it. Fast forward to next week. So we switched it up. We have a couple subs for us. We we're actually a short team. Most of the guys were my height. We were like all、oh, five, six, five, seven. And then we only had one tall guy, he's probably like six foot one, six foot two, or something like that. We won both sets, regardless of our height. I mean, the team name is size, that's the matter, so we kind of prove our point there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> But yeah, we won both sets pretty easily, actually. I technically got carried by、uh, two subs. <laughs> I'm kind of ashamed to say it, but they were both in my height, 5'6 or 5'7, very experienced. And they both jumped really high. One guy's a setter, jump sets every single set, well, as much as he could. And、um, the other guy, Also, jumps really high. He played middle. I played offside. The other girl that was playing offside had to play power this time. She was doing really well. And our setter, we got her to play power as well. We did really well. Second game happened. The same thing. We didn't switch it up at all. And、uh, my boy Mike <laughs> dislocated his pinky on his right hand from blocking. You know, it's kind of funny because he was going like, oh shit. Literally, his finger was like, like that, right? He's like, oh shit, I can't, I, can't, I can't move my finger. And I'm like, are you sure? Are you just messing with me right now? I tried to straighten his finger and it's like, it won't. it won't. It won't straighten itself up. And then he was like, it doesn't hurt or anything. And I'm like, yeah, it doesn't look like it hurts, but like, literally, it was like this. <laughs> It, was, it wasn't like it wasn't like going this way or that way, but it was just like this the entire time. It just wouldn't move. And I, I tried to pull it out for him, it didn't work. And he's like, I'm not even in pain or anything, but we had to stop the game. So I asked him, Can you keep playing? He's like, Yeah, I can keep playing. And I'm like, Are you sure? I have tape. I can tape it up for you. So we got some tape, taped it up for him. But then the adrenaline that he had has worn out. And he started feeling a lot of pain. And he's like, okay, I can't keep playing, man. I can't keep playing. So we had to step out and、um, try to get some ice for him and everything. You know, first aid, all that, all that stuff. But one of our friends playing for Pool A, he showed up early and he was just sitting there watching us. And we we're like, yo, you want to play right now? And he's like, yeah, sure. I just got to get changed. And he got changed and kept playing. and... Apparently, he's a setter, but he's pretty tall, so we got him to play middle. So, he's probably like five, eight, or nine, or something like that. And he played really well. He got a few blocks in and、uh, hits、uh, on point, float serves are on point. 
We almost lost the first set. It was like 25, 25. We were just like catching up on each other until this person made an overpass and my boy Ben slammed it down to the ground, down to the three meter and made it bounce up. My boy Ben just jumps really, really high. Man, I'm trying to learn, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get some pointers from him on how to jump higher, but he did it, man, he did it. He won us the first set. It was at 25, 27. Second set came in, same thing, no changes in the rotation. Mike sitting up, obviously, and did a thing, did a thing. And eventually we ran out of time, but we were five points or something ahead and we just won the whole league. How do I feel about it? Um, you know what? This time I didn't really care about winning. I was just playing. I missed a lot of serves. I wanted to keep my streak of uh, jump serves going because I'm trying to make a highlight reel of all my jump serves, but I missed a lot of them today. Actually, one thing I changed is that on the last set, I was kind of desperate about winning, not gonna lie. So I started doing a lot of float serves and um, I got a good run out of it. I think it was like three or four points of uh, me serving. So I guess that was a good decision that I made. Yeah, regardless, we still won the first set and won the second set and yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy. I'm super happy. I've always been wanting to win the league. My first uh, t-shirt that I won. I keep telling myself that I never win anything, but finally I'm actually winning something after 30 years of my life and <laughs> I'm finally winning things. All right, thanks for watching this short vlog of uh, me finally winning a volleyball league for the first time. Super proud of it. And y'all can watch the highlights of the game right now. And that's about it. Peace out.